The Mother 1 Plus 2 Fan Translation. This is a free, unofficial, fan-made translation. You can download it yourself in the video description below. Nintendo presents Mother 1 Plus 2. Hello everyone, my name is Stephen George and I play video games. Today, we're playing Mother. I chose to begin Mother today because it's a very important date in the game's history. Today marks the 25th anniversary of the game's release. On this date 25 years ago, Mother was released in Japan for the Famicom. Unfortunately, it was never released elsewhere. Nintendo had plans to bring it stateside to the NES in 91. They even finished translating the entire game, but ultimately they decided not to. Instead, they sold off a finished prototype at auction. In 1994, Mother 2 was released in Japan. One year later, it was brought to North America as Earthbound, now regarded as one of the best RPGs ever made, and a Super Nintendo cult classic. But fans of Earthbound still had no way to play the original game, Mother. However, in 1998, a group known as Demiforce managed to get a hold of the original prototype and dump the ROM. For the first time ever, Earthbound fans could play Mother in English. Jump ahead to 2006. Nintendo releases the long-awaited Mother 3, but is quiet about any plans to bring it stateside. Taking matters into their own hands, a team works for two years and produces a fan translation of Mother 3. One of the project leads was Clyde, known online as Tomato. I bring up Tomato because the translation of Mother 1 I'm about to play is his. After he finished working on Mother 3, he set his sights to the first game and decided to do a full retranslation. See, parts of the Mother 1 prototype were censored. Some parts of the story were removed, names were altered, and some things were changed for absolutely no reason at all. Tomato set out to create an English translation that was as faithful as possible to the original Japanese version. That's the version I'm starting today. As a side note, fan translation is really a misnomer. Clyde is a professional translator by trade and is responsible for translating a large amount of anime and games. He's also the co-founder of Starman.net and probably one of the biggest Earthbound fans on the planet. In other words, this is the most accurate translation there is. I'm sorry for explaining so much, but you have to realize something. This is my life. Like, I almost feel I was raised on the Mother series in Starman.net. Opportunities, friendships, and even my marriage all came from these games. Which finally brings me to the reason I'm playing Mother. I have played Earthbound multiple times. I have played Mother 3 multiple times. I have never finished Mother 1. Ever. It's been on my to-do list for several years now, and though I've started it many times, I have never completed it. Today, I intend to change that. So without further ado, I'm very excited to announce Stephen Plays Mother. Let's jump in. Produced by Nintendo. Shigesato Itoi presents Mother. Oh man, I'm really pumped for this because I know that this is one of the ways that I will force myself to finally experience this game. There's something else I need to explain. There's another reason I've kind of been avoiding this game for so many years. For one, the game was hard. The, uh, the original game, the NES prototype, was hard. It's since been altered by Tomato to make it a little bit easier, and we're going to be playing it that way, but there's another reason I haven't really wanted to play this game. When I play this game, it's over. There's three Mother games, and I've played two of them, and I guess in the back of my mind I've always been keeping Mother 1 safe. It's like if I don't play it, it's always there for me to play. It's always some other mother game to experience. And by putting myself into this game and, and playing it, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a little emotional for me. And uh, I'm going to do my best to not <laughs> get into that at all. But it, it is a game that I've avoided for, for some time, partially because of that reason. <clears throat> I'm choking up a little bit. I can, I've never done this before. Let's start the game, shall we? Start a new game. Name this boy. This boy's name is Ninten. And that is a name that I am all too familiar with. Oh my god. Okay. Name this girl Anna. Lloyd. Teddy. What's your favorite food? Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure what the default option is on Mother 1. 
um, or what they want you to use, but I think I'm going to go with steak as an homage to Earthbound. Sure, steak. Is this okay? Ninten, Anna, Lloyd, Teddy, favorite food, steak. Yeah, let's do it. And this is a story that I am a little familiar with, as I've seen it several times before. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow fell over a rural town in America. Shortly after, a married couple mysteriously vanished. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, George returned home, but never told anyone where he had been or what he had done. Instead, he deeply immersed himself in strange research. As for his wife, Maria, she never returned. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. So many people have been asking for this LP for a long time too, and I'm like, maybe one day. 1988, outside the town of Mother's Day. Here we are. Now you're going to notice some similarities to Earthbound. I recall the similarities to Earthbound, and to be honest, I'm pretty familiar with this game. I mean, you don't grow up on the Mother series and be very, very, uh, a very integral part of Starman.net without knowing a thing or two about the game. So I'm familiar with it. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that there is a treasure box here, and I think actually in the GBA version I could just hit L. Yeah. Nintendo opened the pre- er, Nintendo. Nintendo opened the present. He found the easy ring. Okay, so this is something that Tomato programmed in. Uh, and if we pull up the... How do I pull... There we go. <laughs> the goods. We look at the easy ring. Info. Easy ring. Equip this ring to increase experience and money from enemies and reduce random battles. Basically, because the original Mother game was such a chore to play, and because it was really hard for fans of Earthbound to get into because, well, a lot of it's not like Earthbound. It was hard, and people didn't play through it, so Tomato programmed in the Easy Ring. So it makes the game easier to play. We are going to be using the Easy Ring. The last thing I want to do is try to trudge through a game that I don't really even know all that well. So we're going to equip it. Alright, uh, now we'll start to leave... And if, if I don't do one, <laughs> at least one or two references to Lloyd's or Not Christmas, I'm going to have people pissed at me, so... Oh my gosh, it's a lamp! I better hit it with my hand. I hope it was worth it, everyone. See, I've been involved with uh, a bunch of community projects related to uh, Earthbound and the Mother series for years. Well over a decade. Maybe a decade and a half at this point? So, it's... Uh, <laughs> There's, there might be some references I make that may not be immediately known to everyone, and that's okay. I, I promise to explain them. Brother, I'm so scared! My lamp suddenly started going crazy! Nintendo Destroyer of Lamps. Lamp suddenly attacked. So, in 2007, me and a few friends decided to start a radio series called Fobbies Are Born. You can still download the episodes and listen to them today at fobbiesareborn.com. Um, and it was uh, a radio play about Earthbound. Um, but once we finished Earthbound, we decided to tackle uh, the first game, Mother, the one I'm playing right now. So we made a series called Lloyd's or Not Christmas, which was completely improvised. And uh, I had not played the game at the time, so it made it very, very interesting. Help! Okay. <laughs> Let's fight this baby doll. Doll suddenly attacked. We'll continue to fight it with our... Well, you know, hand. So in Lloyd's Not Christmas, I played uh, the role of Ninten, and uh, I didn't know what was happening. Uh, some of the other co-stars had, you know, would feed me information in our Skype chat so I would know what I was talking about, but in reality, I didn't. So it's going to be interesting because I recorded that in, you know, 2007, 2008, and now, however many years later, seven... Six or seven years later, I'm actually playing the game and I'm going to be experiencing things that I remember from the radio show, but I didn't know what it was at the time. Uh, and so you know how far I've gotten into the game before, I have made it to Magicant uh, the first time, I think. I think that is as far as I ever got. 
I never found the correct well, which uh, is a story that I'll explain when I get there. So we're leveling up now. Apparently we leveled up to level 3, which is insane. The easy ring is designed to make it, well, easy. It's not supposed to make the game, you know, a walk in the park, but it's supposed to certainly help you out because, you know, people are... people get kind of fed up with the game. The mysterious phenomenon has stopped for now. Oh look, a baby doll. I better check it. There's an old music box hidden inside the doll. Ninten opened the music box. A broken melody began to play. Uh, as a side note, because I don't know this game all that well... Nintendo learned the melody, so now I know the melody. Because I don't know this game all that well, um, I do have a bare-bones walkthrough uh, that I'm going to be utilizing, so I don't just wander around aimlessly. And I also have a guide of all of the PSI, because if we go to our PSI menu, um, it doesn't actually tell you what it does. Um, I know what some of them do, partially because I know and then partially because of Earthbound, but otherwise I'm going to be kind of lost. So yes, this is a blind Let's Play of, uh, of the game. I just need the uh, strategy, you know, the, the bare-bones walkthrough to help me out, because otherwise it would be, uh, might be a little hard to watch, in my opinion. Are you okay, Ninten? What on earth is happening to our home? I'm so scared. If only your father were here now. Oh, the phone! Which is your father. Could you get it, Ninten? Ninten picked up the telephone. Ninten, it's your dad. Hmm, I see. Sounds like it must be a poltergeist of some sort. I'm not sure what to do about it either. But your great-grandfather did study PSI at one point. Perhaps there's something in the basement that could help make sense of these things. I know I put the basement key somewhere, but I can't remember where. Anyway, you're on your... you're our only hope. Uh, now is the time for an adventure. Go forth, Ninten. Protect us all. Click beep beep beep. Okay, so, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the basement key is on the dog, but I'll talk to Mom. She, she, she knows anything. When on earth is happening to her home? Okay, you actually don't. So I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna talk to my good buddy, King, which might not be his name. You understand animal talk, right? Then I'll give you a hint. Try checking me. Woof. Okay. Doggy, stop moving. Check. A key to the basement is hanging from the dog's collar. Ninten took the basement key. Now, the other thing I can do is telepathy, which lets you read minds. And I don't remember if that works everywhere or if that works on the animals or whatever, but I'm going to do it. Ninten tried telepathy. Nothing happened. Okay, so I just wasted one of my PV points. I don't remember when it is you're supposed to use it. Whatever, I have the basement key. So let's go here. It's locked. Not for long, you crap hole. Basement key, go! Yay, I did it. We should really decorate, other than these presents we have laying around. Nintendo over the present, a cracked bat. Nintendo took the cracked bat. Danger seems to be lurking nearby. That makes me think that there's an enemy. Uh, Nintendo over the present, found bread. Nintendo took the bread. Uh, Nintendo over the present, found great-grandfather's diary. Okay, so let's look at uh, great-grandfather's diary. Most of the diary is unreadable, but one part did stand out. The password. Where is the god's tail? That which was left behind by the ship that soars the heavens. I don't know what that means, but maybe I'll know what that means later. Cracked bat. Use it. Nintendo equipped the cracked bat. Is there any kind of, like, indication that we're... Okay, it just leaves our inventory, and I'm assuming it's in, like... Oh, there we go. If we press, if we press the other button, it shows up. Cracked bat, easy rings, uh, melodies. Okay. You're going to have to bear with me, because uh, this is not a game that I have finished. Ninten picked up the telephone. Ninten, it's your dad. I've deposited $100 into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have 100 bucks in the bank. Use it wisely. Let's see. To get to the next level, you need 18 experience. Anyway, what did you need from me? I want to save my game. Okay. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. Continue. Nintendo, you like to work hard just like your mom, but I don't think it's good to work too hard. God, it's weird, man. It's so weird because it's earthbound, you know? It's just earthbound. Also, there's a run button now. So we hold down the, uh, the R button, we can run, which is really, really helpful. Nintendo's house. I like how it's my house. It's not my mom's house. Not my sister's house. I am the man of the house, and I own it. Because my father is a phone. Alright, a battle. We get a redneck. 
Alright, Redneck. Uh, I don't know if I have... I do have Hypnosis now, so I do have another, um, another ability. Uh, let's just straight up hit you with my hand. Redneck took seven damage. Redneck attacks. One damage. Pretty sure I got this in the bag. And I'm pretty sure that killing him will give me, like, a ridiculous amount of, uh, of experience, which is going to be pretty freaking helpful. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so, uh, now we have mo moved on to level four. Fight went up by three. Speed went up by three. Wisdom went up by three. Strength went up by two. Force went up by two. Good lord. I did read about, uh, I did read about some of the, uh, like the, what the stats mean, because it's not always incredibly clear, so I have a vague idea of what everything does. Uh, we learned life up, which is incredibly helpful, so now we can just recover our own health at a whim. And this lady is spinning in circles, god lover. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my! My dear Pippi's gotten lost. If you're going into town, please tell the mayor for me, okay? Sniffle, sniffle, sob, sob. We can't break into her house. Well, that, well that's incredibly disappointing. Let's head down and uh, to the town. Let's see, there should is there also a map? Okay, yeah, there's also a map, which is pretty neat. Uh, we can press start, and it shows us a little map. Um, I believe the, the cities are in red, and then the black dots are like points of interest or something. We can hit continue heading down here. Welcome to Mother's Day! Now, if I'm not mistaken, in Earthbound Zero, this is called Podunk. So, for whatever reason, they decided to name this Podunk in the Earthbound prototype for Mother 1. But, uh... Luckily, Tomato changed it to all of the stuff that it's supposed to say. Did the poltergeist attack your house? It tore mine apart. I'm sorry. Mine is okay, because I fought the lamp and the baby doll. I am the hero of all. Oh, a mouse! Another theme from the Mother series. Ah, I'm a meddlesome mouse. In towns, there are some houses you can go inside and some you can't. Houses with round doors or signs on them are the ones you can go into. If you try to go into any of the other ones, you'll just hit your head. Well, bye! <laughs> Reminds me of the end of the movie Dirty Work. So he's dead. Bye! So if it's round... I remember that now. If it's round, you can go into it. If it's round, jump in town. If it's square, don't go in there. There's some rhyme, maybe, that goes with it. You didn't come from the cemetery to the south, did you? Please tell me you didn't. <laughs> I hate cemeteries. Uh, I can't go in there. This is just for looks. I'm glad that you can go into more of the stuff later on. Uh, or at least, uh, in Earthbound, I mean. There must be someone controlling the dead, says the creepy woman with the cane. Alright, let's see, I can go up. I don't think this is actually... I don't think this is any... Oh, fart! I'm fighting people in the town. A centipede, oh god! I don't think I'm, uh, I'm in the town any longer. I, I think I have to continue heading south. Uh, I have played this portion of the game before. If I'm not mistaken, I have to find Pippi. Pippi's in the cemetery. So I gotta go save her, and then... That's that. <laughs> I think she becomes a... I think she's in my party for a little while, but she's not the, the second... Uh, or not the... I don't want to say the second character, but the, the female uh, hero. The female hero is uh, Anna. Oh, man, I'm surprised I got two things back-to-back -back like that. Two battles. Take this, redneck. I'm gonna smash your face in. Got him. Although grinding a little bit's not that bad, because I'm going to get a piss load of stuff. Uh, I also learned... Yet another skill. So I know life up, I know healing. And like I said, I have a cheat sheet here because it doesn't explain what this does. So healing alpha is for poisoning. Okay, so if I get poisoned, healing alpha is where I need to go. And I actually can't look at my other skills, which is... Can I? No, I don't think I can. It looks like I can only look at uh, some stuff in battle, some stuff out of battle. So like if I go to PSI now, I have life up and I have healing, and I have hypnosis. So they're on three different pages. Probably for, you know, this is for increasing health, this is for healing ailments, and then this is for maybe other, I don't know. So we have a uh, hippie, new age retro hippie, same music. This is, this is the part of Mother that really gets me. This is the part that I'm really excited about experiencing because there's so much stuff that feels like Earthbound. You're a disgrace to your mom? What? That's that's not very nice. That's very rude. Why why would you say such a hurtful thing to me? Christ almighty. Let's attack you in the face, hole. Stop you from speaking forever. You won! 
Okay, let's go down here, because this works a little better. Hello, sir. Are the zombies going to take over our town, too? I hope not. Let's talk to this dude. Please tell me you're not a zombie. Are you? No. Are you really a human? Yeah. I'm amazed you made it this far. What if I lie to you? Are you? Uh... I am a zombie, yes. Oh, yeah? Well, you're a big stupid zombie head. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, my God. I get... To, this is... I think one of the reasons this means so much to me is it's almost like experiencing Earthbound a second time. I think it's why I've saved it for so long. But I'm 25 years old! I think it's finally time to play this game. Welcome. It's $39 per night here. Will you be staying? Uh, I don't have any money, so probably not, no. That's too bad. We'll come back again! This hotel is cheap, but that's about the only thing it has going for it. Ooh, shots fired. Grandma! Exhausted? Go to the hotel. <laughs> Sleepy? Go to the hotel. That's all there is to say, really. Thanks, Grandma. Bye! Let's go up here. Is there stuff in here? No. Can I check the drawers? <laughs> is there a really interesting document about giving birth going down the Jersey Turnpike? It's an Earthbound reference. I'm going outside. So that's hotel. Hello, madam. You look like that girl from, uh, friggin' Peanuts. I don't remember her name. She's the quiet one. Animals have suddenly turned violent and the dead have come back as zombies to attack us. What are we supposed to do? I'm so scared I can hardly breathe. Oh yeah, S square doors. I'm pretty sure this is just the teddy sprite. I don't know what he's doing here. Canary Village is north and west of here. You should definitely go visit it. Admission is free. All right, I have not yet explored all of Mother's Day, but we're gonna bring it to an end here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This LP is going to be a little different. It's going to be one of the most laid-back LPs I've probably ever done. You have to understand, not only is this a blind LP for me, this is like... This is something I've been holding back for a long time. This is something I've wanted to do, but have been putting it off and saying, No, 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 uh, some other time I will finally finish the Mother series. So, it's going to be laid back. I'm going to be talking to everyone I can possibly talk to. I may not know where I'm going at times. It may seem a little slow at times. But that's the way it's going to be. And this is honestly going to be more for me, in a way, than everyone else. I just hope that you guys can also enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, join me next time for another exciting, adventure-filled episode of Stephen Plays Mother.